Hey, Rich, AOK -okay Knives. I'm high energy today, guys. Um, I had a Mountain Dew spark. I don't know what that is. It's like it was like looked like a uh, pink lemonade. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Hang in there with me. Okay, so I went. I had a haul today. Uh, what a day! So much good stuff. I mean. I got my, I think this is like a lucky charm. My open L number one on on a necklace. Yeah, I need to just leave it. That's how I need to roll like that. Okay, so I opened that up because I can't decide what to interview. Interview, what to review. I got a Smith & Wesson boot knife. I got another Harita Chinese knife. I've got a Stein... Brock. I've got Camillus. I've got I got stuff going on guys and I'm pretty excited. So we're just gonna go real simple on this one. And this is the um this is the Smith and Wesson. This is like how you how you get hurt. I should not be opening up packages with this necklace knife on like this. But hey, what are you gonna do? Smith and Wesson boot knife. I'm kind of it's like stiletto dagger style. All right, so that's not sharp. It's weird. I feel like that should be sharp. You know? I don't understand. HRT, Smith & Wesson boot knife. Okay, so this boot knife comes with a sheath. Whoops. It's pretty sharp. It comes with like a neck sheath, kind of like my little open L neck knife, and a little chain right there. We're not going to mess with the chain right this second, or at all. Okay, so this has little instructions in the, in, the, in the clip. It's got a clip to go on your belt, on your pocket, whatever it may be. Has the chain to be a necklace. It locks in there pretty good, so it could be a necklace. I'm going to put a grind on the other side of this and make it a dagger. Yeah, see, it's just got that one edge right there. No edge here. Which, I'm confused by this knife. Because it has the grind. Like a dagger grind. But just one edge on it. What, is, what do they call that? Spear point. Spear point. It's got, even has the little uh, lanyard hole. But if you push this in there kind of nice and tight, like that, it's not going anywhere. And you're hanging it right there, and you're going on your little hike, and you come across a, a, a wild animal. And you don't want to use your, your open L that you got hanging here. Because try fighting a bobcat like this. Yeah, it's no bueno. But pull this out. Now you're fighting a bobcat. Just make sure you get the blade going the right direction. I mean, you got to look at the knife to know. Look, I'm in my fighting stance and everything. <laughs> I'm all fired up. Yeah. So you got to know which way the blade's going, of course, because you don't want to pull it out, especially if it's a tactical scenario where you want to get, you want to get banshee with it, you know, and you pull it up and you're going ready to go rock and roll and you got the dull side going towards somebody and you think you're slicing them and all you're doing is maybe scaring them because they thought they got cut, but then they never got cut because you didn't even use the blade. That could be a tactical error. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to, I'm going to open this chain, put it on this, and then I'm going to hang this up over there and never use it again. Smith & Wesson, HRT, boot knife. Um, you know, they don't like to tell you what kind of steel goes in these things anymore. So when they do that, you just got to assume it's not good. So Smith & Wesson's got a pretty good reputation of... Making good guns and 
I'm not really going to go as far as saying that about their knives. Now, maybe, they, maybe they're making, uh, say, a knife in their whole brand line that might have might be kind of impressive but i have my doubts so if i was going to buy smith and wesson it would be a j-frame revolver it would be a j-frame revolver or it would be um i had my eye on their on their uh what was that it was a uh 22 long rifle target gun I had my eye on. And I ended up buying a Ruger Mark V. I'm glad I bought the Ruger Mark V. I've never shot the Smith & Wesson, but that Ruger Mark V was, is impressive. Yeah, so that's the gun talk based off of the Smith & Wesson uh, necklace knife thing here. All right, so I, I put the chain on here. So we're going to check this out with the chain on. Okay, so... Yeah, it fits over good. So you got that. It goes in there. You let it go. Yeah, now you're wearing now you're wearing this. I bet you if I pulled on this, it might break this chain. You ready? Do I have any betting subscribers out there that want to bet? You ready? Look at that neck. Yeah. I played football in high school for freshman year. All right. It stayed. It didn't break. I'm kind of impressed by that. Yeah. I might. You know what? I'm 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 definitely going to make this a dagger and I'm going to profile this with an edge. So I'm going to have double edge. And then it's going to be more interesting of a knife for me to potentially take out into the, the field, into the bush. Yeah. All right. So it's a knife. It's a Smith & Wesson HRT boot knife slash necklace knife with a sheath. Don't know the steel. It's definitely like a spear point or a dagger with only one edge done. Yeah. It's, it's kind of cool. It's all right. Hey, it's a knife. Deuces.